Hello, ladies, gents, and all of you hilarious jokesters in the comments. Oh, oh, uh, 15 minutes must be a speedrun. Oh, Blargo, I always see you practicing the early game. Why don't you ever practice the late game? How funny you are! You, you're just... A, what a comedian! Damn! Well, it's actually pretty funny. I do admit it. That was pretty funny. I accept my mockery as well-earned. I take it with a chuckle, alright? Because I know that this spectacle... Oh, I see you, you filth monster. You garbage creature. How can I... I would like to put you somewhere where you will not bother me ever again, but there you go. Oh, perfection. Perfection. The encapsulation of this mollification. Please do not get murdered. Well done. Well done. You even trigger an arrow trap for me. Everything works out for me. Everything's going to be great. I've gotten myself a new keyboard. I will not subject you to yet another key keyboard spiel. Just telling you it has... Really fancy magnetic switches, and I can adjust when the activation happens. So the moment I grace the space bar, that's a jump. My, it's basically going to give me every victory that I can possibly achieve. Unfortunately, though, I don't really have high hopes for this one. The, regardless of what this man is selling, I'm not feeling on my, on my prime right now. Man, he's actually selling absolute trash. But uh, I accept it. Fellas. My good fellas. Does freezing him... It does count as assault, absolutely, yes. Ooh. Son of a bitch. Maybe if I had been <laughs> just left... Oh, well, because I stole. Maybe if I had left the... The... Ice beam. There. It would have worked out. I don't care. I don't know. I, there was a little bit of an exploit at some point with the ice beam. And we're not filling up my prime right now. Sleep was not great. I don't know what just happened, brother, but let's hope that he blew himself up. Uh, he's probably about to fall up on my noggin. But we are kind of obligated to get this done. We have a freaking key. I think... I think it's in here. We did just steal a pile of bombs. Where is the freaking new Jedi? Did not see it at the top. But it must be at the top, right? What the freaking hell, brother? Anyway, sleep was not great. I have a history of just zonking out like I took drugs. I am very consistent. I read for 20 to 30 minutes, then close my eyes. The world disappears. I guess we don't need the key to the, We don't need the Ujarai today. It's fine. The Ujarai, we don't need it when we have 14 bombs. We'll bomb all the way down. Through Volcana, alright? It's all going to be just fine. Throw this piece of trash. Very nice to find this, this cape, though. Very, very nice. Um, but last night, man, I had my eyes closed for like an hour. My brain would not turn off. Don't know what the deal there was. And then, in the morning, I usually just sink like a stone into sleep do five hours of that wake up turn around sleep for two other hours the night is done last night i woke up then i went back to sleep and the weirdest freaking nightmare living in this apartment that my brain just conjured up from thin air never been in this place in my life very vivid dream of this apartment being haunted i woke up Every door was open, every single door, even the front door. So I, you know, I, I go to close it, I close everything. Then Vigo comes in through the backyard door. It wasn't a backyard, you know, it's like a patio. Let's see if we can trigger this arrow trap. There you go. Like one of those in small little patios that apartments sometimes have. That they only lead to the inside of the building. 
that kind of that kind of dealio. I think we want to bump from the top, especially since we got ourselves a few ropes. Let's uh, be a little bit smarter about this. I don't want to do a frontal attack on this buffoon. Let me put a bomb uh, right here. It should be a fairly good strategy. We do that. He should be able to go all the way over here, maybe. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> I'm good at the video game. Let V go in, my dead cat, by the way. He was in this nightmare. He wasn't a nightmare until a little bit later when the ghost shows up, starts moving things in the apartment. I'm like, just freaked out of my mind. And I'm like, ghosts don't exist. This must be a dream. Wake up, wake up. And that is like the worst part of lucid dreams. Dreams. Or I guess it will be a pseudo lucid dream, because I'm telling myself to wake up, but I don't. <laughs> and that's like, come on, man! You really are going to realize that you're dreaming and not be able to control it? This is bullshit. But yep, that was exactly the case. Are you dead? You're not, because you suck ass. You are a piece of garbage balls, and I hate you a million times over. I am so full of hatred. For Mole Man. I'll use a rope. Why I use a rope? I honestly don't know why I just used a rope. I'll be perfectly frank with you. Other than I want to go over here without using a bomb. I mean, we do want to save bombs because we do need to dig down. But uh, probably not worth using that rope, honestly. That's when I only have three left. Wow, this is awful, but we can just come out through here. <laughs> that was upsetting. All right. All good, baby. Let's go through. Anyway. Still being haunted by this ghost. Wake up. He's, it's moving my non-existent golf clubs. I don't play golf. I've never gotten golf. I don't, I don't understand the appeal. I don't know what's the weird obsession that the dudes have with going golfing sounds to me like the most boring miserable time but you know more power to you is if it's your activity i'm not going to judge you i'm just saying it doesn't sound for me in the slightest i had a golf club set that the ghost was moving around just to freak me out just to be a piece of shit so i'm like i'll ask the neighbors for help let me get to the to the hallway and start yelling about this ghost haunting me. Try to see if maybe they will wake me up. I don't have any neighbors. I mean, they, they are... We are in a suburban subdivision. And it's in Alaska. So, you know, we're pretty far apart. That's the way we like it. We are anti-social pieces of garbage. Worth a couple bombs? Sure. What you got in there? Hell yeah, brother. You please me greatly. Please don't explode. So that I can partake of the bounty of this crate. Alright, alright. Everything's coming out. Millhouse. I like it. Do not destroy me, though. Get all the way over here. The neighbors start coming out. First comes this black man I've never seen in my life. He, My dream just conjured him up. Just, just accept it. He gets to inside my apartment, and he just starts inflating. Mar, uh, uh, what's it called? Total Recall style. This is a nightmare. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, I'm being haunted in Spelunky now by a horrible salamander. Uh, got the manliest scream you could possibly imagine out of me. All right, but we are now big customers let me get, get, get a real good murder real quick on you and uh it, i would use this thing but we are on a strict timetable and the ball and chain may not interfere so let me just start bombing down he just starts inflating the other person comes in that another neighbor curly haired he looked like Z xanagir I guess this one was Susanna Gear inspired. <laughs> For some reason, man. I don't know. Don't question it. 
And they are both, the moment that they go into my apartment, they start inflating. So I'm like, I'm just gonna commit suicide. I'm going to go and jump off the balcony. I start running towards the open balcony. I run and jump over or try to jump over. The ghost stops me, has that power to stop me. I am just floating in midair, stopped by the ghost. And I turn around, I look at it, it's like, oh, wait a minute. Are you not hostile? Because it was trying to save my life. And then it takes my golf club collection and it shakes it side by side. Like saying, I'm not hostile, I'm just trying to communicate. You know, that, that's what I understood. Uh, so I gave it a bottle of compressed air, air spray. This was still a nightmare, okay? This was still very stressful. It may sound weird to you, but when you're in it, you would understand how bad and traumatic it was, all right? Compressed air, the, of the kind that you use to clean up your computer, you know, dust it. Might as well get all this cash, why the hell not? And by wrapping itself around this bottle, it was able to articulate a voice. It was this female voice I've never heard before. And said, I need you to help you. And then I wake up. I was like, that's, that's when I was starting being intrigued and no longer haunted by this dream. I was like, damn it. And now I wanted to know who this ghost was and what it wanted from me. And then I was awake and I like, man, it's so freaky when you're dreaming and you realize you're dreaming. But it still feels so real. And then you wake up and the complete difference. That's like the basis of eternal. That feeling of waking up. And what used to feel so real is no, it's laughable that you thought it was real. That entire feeling was what drove me to write Eternal, my first novel, in which you go to the afterlife and it's like you wake up from dreaming and you have this certainty that, oh, all that shit, that was before and now this is the my real life. It's, uh... You know, it, it kind of all sprung from that, from having a dream of that happening. Of rather, of me dying, going to the afterlife, and then I wake up on something that felt so real. Suddenly it's just so obvious that it was a dream. Actually, I'm not going the right way. I think it's going to be the, on the other side. It's right below me. It's all right there. So that was my experience. They got me a little rattled, uh, and definitely... Not as rested as I normally would be. The daily challenge is doing going pretty well so far. Not gonna sandbag myself, but I'm just saying, just saying. I'm I don't feel at my prime. But you know, pretty sure I did 799 or some really good attempts came out of me booting up Spelunky after work when I'm feeling exhausted as hell. And I still go the distance, so. It is not an indication that it's going to be a disaster, so uh, I can still have a little bit of hope. It's all going to be okay. All right, I, I was like, holy crap, who is this trying to destroy me? It is just more slaves. I don't know what your problem is, bro brother. How about you just fall asleep right there with rat face? Uh, change of plans. <laughs> a change of plans <laughs> has been decided. Sorry, Gronk 1 and 2. Your flesh is now required to serve the eternal damned throne of Kali. You have now become the instrument of my ascension. I mean, there is a reason I get haunted in my dreams. I have done terrible, terrible things. Two live Gronks give you a Kapala. Absolutely gorgeous, wonderful stuff. And that's the exit. Why not have this money? Give it to me. Is there a reason to go that way? Maybe there's an idol. Maybe there's instant death. Ah, that was needlessly close. I don't know why I tried, man. $10,000 is nothing. Absolute chump change. Compared to a, a single level of the Cosmic Ocean where... Uh, ingot pile is 3,000 or something close to that. It's so silly to give a damn about gathering money anywhere that is not the big heist at the end. 
Alright. We are being careful. This bat will not ruin my life. I predict it that it will not ruin my life. I might as well, even though I am equipped with incredible blood power. We'll still go out of our way to save the dance, and I'm just that kind of a, a good guy. Gotta atone for my horrendous Gronk slaughter. Oh yeah, give me that good stuff. It's nice to have the power to survive an explosion. Always nice to get it. Uh, so I have 22 bombs. I could do the shortcut. It's been a long time since I did it, though, man. I, I'm not gonna get it right. But let's do it. After I do this, put you here. Supposedly only requires four bombs. And I could look it up. But I'm just gonna think about it, okay? I'm just gonna think about it. Give me a second. I have the vague recollection of it being like this. That's not it. <laughs> that's not it at all. Uh, so we'll spend four bombs instead of three. I think that's the, just the only price that you pay for doing it terribly. Right? I need this to destroy... Ah, I think I already, I already full barred it. Absolutely obliterated any chances I had of getting it done. Might as well put a bomb right there. That's awful. <laughs> That's absolutely terrible. And I feel ashamed of myself. Let's cut our losses. Just... I could have looked at it. Look, it's been a forever since I did the Omic shortcut. You can't judge me. Just watch me kill this Olmec with zero problems, alright? We don't need no silly shortcut. What a foolish nonsense. Taking shortcuts is for losers and lazy people. We do all the work around these parts. The temptation was there, but I refused it after I tried and failed. Yeah! Very nice. Very nice indeed. I don't know, you know. I think I could count with my fingers and toes the number of nightmares that I've had in my entire life. Not very nightmare prone. A pretty stable psyche, I guess. What does it say about you that you are prone to nightmares? Does it even say anything about you? Or does it simply say that your brain is wired wrong? I don't know. That, uh, does it say anything about anxiety problems that you may have? I hate everything about this. Yes, yes. Oh man, that was not full damage, but it really should have been. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Olmec. Go away. What a freaking piece of garbage you are. Never actually looked up any kind of studies or even heard anything about anything about anything about people having nightmares and correlating with mental mental problems. It is a common trope in media to use nightmares as a way of like surfacing trauma or issues that you're not dealing with, that kind of thing. But what is the actual reality? Do people that have nightmares or are very prone to night terrors, uh, does it always speak to some kind of mental illness, mental trauma, unresolved issues, that kind of thing? Or is it just a completely independent thing that your brain does and it has absolutely nothing to do with your waking life? Other than maybe you feel a little tired uh, in your waking world because the stupid ass nightmare will not leave you alone all night. I can see how at the very least it will create some kind of heart problem or maybe a little bit of anxiety in your breast or something like that. Because I was waking up and when I woke up I was like, ah, oh, finally out of that place. It was, it's such a sense of relief, you know, all that pressure building up inside of the, the experience. Very nice to wake up from the nightmare. So, I'm just saying. I'm just curious. Okay, uh, you probably can act. If you can trigger, you can untrigger it. 
So let me get rid of you, scum. You piece of garbage. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> you know what? Let's put a bomb right here. I, I think I can slip by this... This horrible trap. Let's not test that theory. Uh, this game theory. And uh, just, you know, bypass it. We got Kali over here. Hold up in her little corner of the world. Let's give her a... Jigglypuff to feast upon. Keep taking damage like an absolute moron. All right. Oh, th this is not open. I, they still... Brother, 500 hours of Spelunky. This red column still throws me off. This contrast is not high enough from foreground to background, okay? It still throws me off. Sometimes I feel like I can traverse it. All right, all that garbage has been eliminated. Let us do some gambling. I am quite the degenerate. I am ready to spend my life savings on this. Even if everything you're giving me is absolute trash so far, I accept it. Brother, <laughs> my life savings, I'm going into this. A couple wins would, would be remiss. No wins here. A camera, a $10,000 camera. That better be packed with the late Sony features that better be not just alpha 3 plus 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 that's gonna be the Omega of cameras please I, I don't want this thing but I want to be done gambling I mean the wins are nice they're giving me my money back gonna be breaking even in this experience all right I am quite the high roller I'll show you just how much of a high roller I am Later on. <laughs> All right. Um, or you might probably kill me as I try to rob you. Uh, like it happened the last time. That was quite the humiliation. It was very traumatic indeed. Uh, we are in 4-2. We have to pick up a sword and a slave. Quite annoying not to have one already. Let's see if this thing... Excuse me, uh, <laughs> rat face. Are you a piece of garbage? Yes, you are. <laughs> you piece of trash. You absolute piece of trash. How could you do that to me? Here I was, getting the vermin out of your shop. I was working for you as an exterminated, exterminator. Somebody to help you out. You shoot me in the anus? No honor. No honor. Might as well get my money back. I picked top dollar to enter this contest. I will not leave. And you know, the clover is actually quite helpful. Uh, at least we got the Kapala, so should be okay. Okay. Let's put this over by the exit. That's what I wanted. I want a damsel. They usually spawn at the bottom. I wanted to check up there. Oh, all right. All right. We have spike shoes. All right. It's all good. I don't see a damsel, though. Can't be bad. Man, don't take damage. This is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Please, make a fish. Come over here so I can murder you. I hate how he doesn't even drop any blood. Uh, please. <laughs> this may be a disaster. Just by... Well, there goes my slave. Acting... Please, brother. I'm dead. I'm just gonna die. Yeah, here, here's me dying. Because I am too stupid to <laughs> conceptualize the... Idea of swinging a sword at fish When you put it that way, well, that sounds kind of difficult to do Rat face destroyed this run. Do you think this was me? It was this piece of trash this absolute piece of garbage that is now going to get punished 
You are a full of piece of garbage. I absolutely loathe you. And now here I am stuck with no clone gun because of your indiscretion. Your, your complete incompetence at dealing with your own pest. I'm slightly disappointed, okay? You know what? Fine. We'll clone a bomb bag. That's <laughs> what we're doing. Because... I've uh, been cheated by my own limited brain sockets. I am too dumb to swing a sword effectively. And we get 12 bombs out of it. Wow. <sighs> I deserve nothing. I deserve nothing of what just transpired. And you cannot convince me otherwise. All right. So we don't have the pitcher smith. We have four bombs. We have lost the extra life. That was perhaps one of the most humiliating displays I've ever subjected myself to. And there's the, the way down already. Okay. Mm kind of difficult to get in there without using a bomb, which is what we're going to do. I don't trust myself around these corals, you see. Is there a reason to do anything other than go down there? Tell me. No, right? I mean, harvest some blood and stuff. But nah, we're good. So good. You know what? This is pretty open. Oh, but Ratface is going to be so pissed at me. So, <laughs> she's not going to want to sell me anything. But maybe it's actually a caveman with turkeys. Boomerang, arrows, gorgeous stuff, gorgeous stuff. Hopefully Radface is in the process of committing seppuku right now. Through the incredible power of coral reefs being sharp as razors, impaling her through the chest. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Uh, hmm. You're inconsequential to my, to my mission, aren't you? <laughs> Let me just slaughter you real quick. All right. Also something I haven't done in quite a while. Let's use two. Uh, sure, I'll take those ropes. I'll even spend a bomb making this safe. Yep. Okay. All right, so... There's actually a better way to do it than lining up the hand. Can you see the hand? Yeah, you can't see the hand when you're holding. It's been so long that I'm like, Ugh, am, I, am I ready to do this? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am the most powerful Splunker of all time. Should I put that rope a little bit further now that I see? Okay, it's fine. Just gotta wait it out. You're all done. Beautiful. Ah, yes. This pleases me greatly. I mean, we're salvaging a slight disaster. There's the exit. It's all good. I forgive myself. It was all Ratface's freaking problem. What a piece of crap. Uh-huh. And we do one of these. All right. Gotta watch the health, though. I am taking way too much damage. Play, playing too loose with my health. That's what got me in this problem to begin with. Give me that nice extra bit of blood. A cat through the exit. What the... You weren't supposed to jump in the exact perfect precise motion that will get you to harass me. Let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. I don't trust myself being competent in any capacity, so let me just go through. Are shopkeepers angry at me? They shouldn't be, right? I'm a good boy. What is happening now? What is happening? I could give Callie. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say I could give her all kinds of flesh, but there was an evil alien making a 
Rube Goldberg machine. Making sure I did not get anything done. So here's the question. Do I want to grab this sword and put it on glue? I think the answer is no. I think what I want is a... It's a Gronk. Always nice to come over here and just take all the blood. You're not jumping my way, huh? Wow. Wow, that was a little too high. <laughs> uh, we do have the spike shoes. Gotta respect the Yeti. The Yeti hag. She's a pain in my ass. Uh, there's no... There's always a Gronk spawn here. It must be the daily challenge does not spawn him. Because he's actually uh, an NPC. I was counting on it. So I could have this sword all the way to the end. Because this sword is so helpful to murder the scumbags that guard the big horde, you know? But I was told in the comments something, I, I, I just never think about using the flying idiot for anything other than getting me to the sunken suitor. Get me out of here. Uh, so I never think about mounting Flawboy. He's too fly for a dragon guy. Uh, I'm just using his fire breath. Never occurs to me at all. What What is this nightmare? I hate everything about this. <laughs> Let's get rid of at least the elevator. Oh! What? Why do you tempt me like this? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm taking it. Of course I'm taking it. Oh. Welcome to the end of the run. Me grabbing this jetpack. <laughs> it's the end of the run. What did I do, though? There was an explosion, okay? It fell on an urn, okay? Freaking ghost jar. What a pain in the ass. We're making a bomb. We're not going to put any work into this nonsense. Look at this death trap. For me. That spark could have easily hit those disgusting all mites at the absolute wrong moment. Is that the entrance? Yeah, because it just got blown up, right? That was, that's funky. Alright, great stuff. Show me. Simple Onyx Vortex. It's never within sight. I always have to go hunt for it. Why do you make me work for it, huh? I am seeing a simple onyx vortex right there. Now I need to kind of check again. Simple onyx vortex. Oop. Give that to me. Onyx. Sounds pretty nice. I like the sound of the onyx. All right, get me out of here. Don't destroy my newly minted jetpack. Hi, <laughs> you idiot! You have tasted your own medicine. How does that taste? Green? Is that minty? Die. 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 What is this, brother? <laughs> well, why don't you put the idol on the way to the exit? This is just cruel and unusual punishment. Just murder all of you. I hate it. We're, we're, we're getting rid of it. Get rid of it all. Okay, this is good enough. We're grabbing this idol. Damn it, you put it in front of my face. I'm going to put it through the exit. I'm 30,000. It's fairly decent. It's not a measly $10,000. That's how much I paid for my car 15 years ago. Still driving it. I'm a frugal individual. I know the value of things. I'm not buying myself a new car when I have a perfectly, perfectly usable one right here 
All right, all right. Can I try? I hate the elevator. I want to get rid of it. Put you right there. I am enormously paranoid. Of course, of course you exist. <sighs> that you exist because I've been ignoring your existence. <laughs> well, this is uh, just another wrinkle. <laughs> just another wrinkle in my quest. Son of a bitch. Eat it. All right. All right, rat face. Okay, you're gone. <laughs> just another wrinkle in my master plan. This is a mistake. <laughs> it actually wasn't a mistake at all. It was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, you stay there. <laughs> all according to plan. Everything is going exactly as I intended. This entire ordeal will end in a massive pile of money in my pocket. Oh yeah, oh yeah, kill each other, you buffoons. I'm not sure what we're going to do about Ratface. Hopefully, she's already dead. Think about it later. Not our problem right now. Come on, scumbags. Just shoot in each other's direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much better. Oh, yeah. We got another stun right there. That should do it. This one should be another one. No? We're getting to the point where I may have to take matters into my own hands. Oh, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> a lot of maniacs. A lot of bodyguards. Making my life harder. This was a good opportunity, but, you know, I'm, I'm spamming. I'm not even looking. You know, I'm not processing what's behind the door. I'm spamming the crap out of that... That, uh... Traverse... The doorway... Button. We only have 20 seconds. So, you know, this is a problem. Come on, shoot each other! <laughs> Alright, that was a good shot, that was a good shot. There are starting to be so few of them that I can afford it, but... I needed it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Come on, man! One of these days! One of these days. I'm going to... <laughs> Think this happened? But no, today is not that day. Wish me luck, buddy, because there's a rat face waiting for me. There is nothing but nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's all under control. I got this. <laughs> I didn't even need this guy. I have a jetpack. <laughs> Look, sometimes a tunnel vision. I don't understand what I'm doing. I just do it. <laughs> One day that, that heist is going to be perfect. And you're going to be a witness to it. Today was not that day because my rage got the better of me. I apologize. Are you there? Are you there? I mean, we need her to forgive us. <laughs> Bit of a problem. Actually, no, we don't need her to forgive us, right? Uh, we need her to forgive us for a, a few resources. But it's not that big a deal. It would be nice to have them. <sighs> okay. We got one chance. Can we? Yeah. We got one chance here. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> that was a tricky shot. And now she's actually a corpse. Make sure. Uh, so <laughs> she should be fully forgiven. We should be fully forgiven as we go into her domain and uh, jump through her hoops. All right, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Daily challenge never disappoints. There's always some kind of shenanigans. Why must I always face such adversity? Why can't it just be... Let me just leave this piece of garbage on the ground. Why does it have to be so hard every damn day? Could have been so much easier, but no. You have to destroy 
me in body and soul. We want this and we want this. The pitcher smith is good. But if there's a shop, there's a pretty good chance that rat face is not gonna spawn. But she's right there. Amazing. Very lucky. Careful with this frog. We're fully forgiven! I mean, I was taking revenge. This is just a cycle of violence that she should have known to stop. It's all her fault. How dare you? How dare you exist? Wow, that bee was just freaking rocket propelled and, uh, and heat seeking. That <laughs> bee was just had a vengeance that destroyed her hive and her entire livelihood in the past life or something. Because damn was that flying insect completely guided towards my face. All right, we're done here. We are successful. I am glad to be here. And give that to me, unfortunately, without being able to clone it. But it's a decent pile of resources. Only one ruby over here, huh? Think stuff spawns only in the spots that you are close to. Me, uh, no, no, that is not what I meant to do. Throw that arrow. Give me this. Murder her. Because I am sick of this nonsense. And now we're gathering money. And yes, indeed, it is worth one bomb. Uh, nah, we don't care about the health. We got 20 freaking health. I am fully equipped. Okay, I, I understand there's warm meat right there. Just let it respawn. This is, this is a good chunk of change. 35,000 is, is money. It's like an extra level of 799. That is the edge that will put me ahead of all the other daily challenge enjoyers and believe me if this is the actual win it's gonna be a three hour video and uh you will not see me again for the rest of the week i'll have to take some time to recover thankfully these days i mean the run will still be over but i learned very recently something i should have what, what am i doing what am i doing just get out of here <laughs> why am i killing frog spawn how silly Oh, silly. I learned very recently... Oh, wait. This is not even the way forward, is it? Yeah, it is. Mm, a way for recordings not to be lost when the power goes out. And it's a very, very simple thing of recording in a different format that actually saves everything as it goes. MKV instead of MP4. And then the conversion to a different format is like two seconds never knew that that was a possibility so that is a, a massive boon i was you know doing a little bit of science maybe two weeks ago with different recording uh, formats a few innovations that there has been basically the av for av codec av1 codec supposed to uh the good old h64 or whatever it was called i forget the, the actual number uh, yeah, we're done. We're done here. We could get a pile of health. Let's do it. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, the, the cat could explode. <laughs> that is an outcome. Holy crap. <laughs> you almost just watched me explode. You almost just watched my explosion. Not there yet. Not there yet. We're, we're getting there. Hmm... What was I saying? Oh yeah, so it basically cuts down so much processing time because AV1 codec, this is inside baseball for for YouTuber stuff, but you know, I know you appreciate it. All my silly rambles that have nothing to do with your life experience. I don't want to die. <laughs> it just gets you out of there. That's funky. Um, very inside baseball stuff. I'm gonna tell you anyway, damn it. Ha! Let me let that respawn before i used to record mp4 format but not just that the other codec is it's very nice very high quality but it will create 
20 gigabyte files, which are just ridiculous. It's just way too much to be uploading and storing it. AV1 codec, codec creates a quality that is nearly identical. Please don't kill me with that arrow. So good. Uh, like you can make the quality pretty much exactly the same, but it actually produces files I don't have to process in any way. So stop recording. If there's no editing to be done, instantly upload it. I can get a video that I record on the internet within 20 minutes. The thing that takes the longest is actually making a thumbnail for it. So, uh, has really, really helped out my ability to put things out quickly. Not like I try. <laughs> Not like I tried to do that. I like having a backlog. And UFO 50 videos indeed have quite the backlog. I think I'm like five games ahead right now. Let's try and, and get some bombs onto the head of the chicken snake. I'm about like four or five games ahead in UFO 50. Man, we really went ahead, far ahead, huh? It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Pretty good, pretty good. Nice, excellent. That's all I really need. Then once the snake gets up here, we'll stomp the head out of... Uh, into the oblivion. Something I'm noticing, I think my activation area is too sensitive with jumps because sometimes I don't release it completely and it means that I don't I am not jetpacking the way I should be jetpacking. Okay, you filth. Shoot me. Shoot me! Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Huh? It's over. It's Jover for you. That is what just happened right there. I, and it has been happening for a little while. So I need to reduce the sensitivity of my space bar. Don't know that cash. Hell yeah. What? Really? They didn't get caught in the vortex? What the? <laughs> it doesn't get caught in the vortex. What's going on there? Anyway, anyway. We made it to the Cosmic Ocean! Turns out I can still do it. Goes to show that my level of tiredness has absolutely nothing to do. There's a message. There's a message. I must check out the message. A number I've never seen before just told me, I'm excited to see you tomorrow. I hope you're all set for our meeting. I am all set for our meeting. I'm so glad that I finally signed up. For the ball sack massage therapy. I've had great, great reviews. I've read them all. I'm ready to embrace the ball sack massage experience. No, I've never seen you before. I don't know who the hell you are. And I hate you for your spamming tendencies. I can't believe it. <laughs> There's a hole in... It is so weird to even think about. That there's this entire industry of people whose entire entire business is fooling really dumb people out of money. Probably this one is just for information. It's not even trying to scam me. It's just trying to collect information attached to a phone number so that it can be vaguely sold to some data company for two pennies. I don't know, man. What is the... The full business model is so eldritch. I can't even comprehend it. But there is money. There is some kind of money. in me having... Having a response from me to a completely anonymous text, I assume that it's just phishing for information and also like maybe I saw the ball I did see the ball I'm just trying to square it out with the exit which I have not seen I, I think I did see the exit as well but I did not note where it was and now it's basically back to square one we are in minute two though the ball was on the left hand side I know where the exit's at though I think it was very close yeah yeah very close to the entrance very easy to reach from here and there's the ball Oh yeah, so let's, uh, yeah, it's chasing me, we go down, 
Oh man, that, these balls are uh, a <laughs> danger indeed. Let's not have it murder my ace, my AES. All right. Great stuff. One ball has been exploded. Good to have in mind. This seems like a short level. Um, if I respond to this text saying, uh, who is this? Will they have an entire story for me and try to get me to meet them somehow? And at some point it will be broached the possibility of me transferring money to their account somehow? I can't even imagine. What would lead somebody to end up in that situation? It's like, really? There's people that will do that. <laughs> like, and it's the good old principle of you want to make the scams as stupid as possible because then only the stupidest will fall for it. Careful, careful. It was at the very top here. But there's two arrow traps on my way. There's also some warm meat that we can... Oh, oh, yo, 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 I almost did that thing. Man, I actually... I think I need to go into the options right now and change the sensibility of this space bar. I don't want it to ruin my cosmic ocean level. The activation of my space bar now, is now 0.7 millimeters. As opposed to the 0.1 that I have put in there. It was a little too sensitive, I think. Uh, the deactivation was not coming through. Okay, uh, get rid of this. I don't like it. I hate it. Full of hatred for it. And at that point, you may start thinking, well, if people fall... <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly according to plan, just giving you a small heart attack. Um, at that point, it's like, if somebody falls for this, they kind of deserved it. But then you realize, well, it's not just idiots. It's also like senile. Senile people. You know, old fellas that don't know any better. Really technologically challenged individuals. There's going to be a problem that ever traveling projectile. This Crocman is also a problem. I hate him. There's just no real way to go through there, huh? Let's just go the other side, huh? Uh, I, I want some balls. I need some balls. I have no balls. Oh, yeah. There's some whipping to be done. Ah, what a nightmare. Let's see if we can get around this nonsense. Trigger that nonsense. Everything's nonsense today. Kill you. I'll go under. Oh, baby. Do not get poisoned. Just use one of these. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I got poisoned. Congratulations on your full stupidity grant to stupid land. All expenses paid. I have arrived. I feel right at home. In stupid land. I honestly have no idea where this gel is coming from. All right. There was a red projectile forever traveling sideways. Oh! I must admit, I don't remember where the exit was at. I think it was at the bottom. Yeah, bottom left. Maybe not. Uh oh. <laughs> Everything's fine. We have 20 to help. Everything's fine. There's the exit. It's all under control. All under control. Now we just need to get one of these. Yes, yeah, this is what I wanted. Believe it or not, this is the level I wanted. Well, there. Woo! Die! This is the level I wanted. I just need a mummy. Could I be interested you in dying? That would be great. Oh, we also need to grab some money. I mean, some, yeah, yeah, grab money. I need a mummy and I need some money. Both are the things that I am seeking in this current moment of my life. Yummy! 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. See, 4,100 for a single ingot a pile. There's no mommy. This disappoints me. Very disappointed. Number two. Oh, the exit. I did not know that. I, I've been bad. I've been a, a bad cosmic ocean knot. <laughs> I've been a bad traverser of the cosmic ocean. Please. <laughs> Let me get rid of this. Get rid of you too. Where are you? There you are. Okay, okay, this is doable. 19 health is not great. Don't worry, we have time. <laughs> All right, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. You just gotta accept your fate as a slowly, terminally dying individual. Give myself a little bit of blood here and there. You need to be dispatched. We want a body to carry. Let's just go down. Kind of silly to be going up. There you go. Nothing there, huh? One. Oh, that's the third. Let's uh, farm the level a little bit. It's a dwellings level. What's the worst that can possibly happen to me here? It's Im nearly impossible to die here, right? Is it worth the ropes on spending? I'm not sure. But I'm doing it. Trying to, at the very least, break even whenever I go into a level. There's the exit right there. Go through here. No moles. Kind of funky. Arrow trap. All right, so the exit is right there. There's a mole. Too late. Too late, you filthy mole. Uh, so we go around. The ball was right here. He's going to come straight up. Now we get in there. Eh, not great. Please, I want a temple level, but with a mummy and so small that I can see the exit and the entrance at the same time. Yeah, piece of blood. <laughs> Extra bombs, so good. Oh man, the cosmic ocean. What a wonderful place. I love it. Uh, I'm not doing it right either. We got a. Man, the, I'm really not even breaking even, huh? It's pretty tough. What? What? Give me that blood. Okay, there's nothing to be found here. Don't burn me. Give me the money. And we're not even close to a million. Get wrecked. Idiot! Looking for, for insects. Looking for balls. There are no balls whatsoever. Well. <laughs> no big deal. There's a ball. There's a couple. There's number three, though. Come on. Thing is, the, how is the poison going so much faster? Wow. <laughs> how is the poison going so much faster than my ability to gather blood? Point of damage notwithstanding. Are you guys perfectly staggered to annoy me? Oh, there's a ball. Man. Wait this out. Whoa! <laughs> We're so fast! Jeebus! Jeebus! Holy crap, man. Almost murdered me! Please give me somewhere I can aid that ice caves exist. Bruh. <laughs> I need help! Anyway, what? Well, I'm doing it wrong, by the way. I should be just progressing normally and hoping for a good tempo level. That's about it. Because it's so difficult to get blood out of yetis. I do need some balls though. 
Nothing lethal in the loop, right? We don't care about it. Why would I trigger that? Please don't fall forever. Okay, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. A little bit of health. Very nice. All banter has come to an end. There is no banter in the Cosmic Ocean. It is nothing but miserable traversal with full focus. There it is. Temple level. Temple level with a mummy. Why you do this to me? Here I am doing my best, brother. But I got poisoned. I got poisoned in 7-5 or something. Silly like that. Mistakes. Okay, so we know where the exit's at. Very, very close. This was a mistake for sure. <laughs> to me. This brazen going into the unknown. Ow. That's the thing about not having Vlad escape. It makes me liable to suck ass. That to me, I needed it. I needed that blood. What? That's right. <laughs> Mistakes are made. It's all right. He'll he'll wake up, right? He'll wake up and stop being a, a royal pain, my asshole. Number two. Uh, that crate will be great, but ah, uh, there's another ball right there. I don't have fuel. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, I threw it, so I don't think it hurts me. Well, at least the Cosmic Ocean, the Sunken City, is really good for blood generation. Supposedly. Or, you know, getting hit in the face by a warm, filthy maggot. I don't care about filthy frogs. It's number one. Number two. Ooh, almost got killed right there. Okay, we are at 12 health, man. This is not great. Uh, definitely not going to break even. If I get keep getting damaged like this. Did I see the last ball and I completely blocked it out of my cognition? Very, very real possibility. Right there. It's a small level. Where even is that? I think it's gonna be like right in the middle, right? Because we have traveled most of the level. There it is. Kind of annoying to get to. What? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, you got it. It's all right. Everything's safe. Life is good. Everything's fine. Please give me a temple level with the mummy. Don't give me a temple level and make it a, another nightmare. Temple level with a mummy. Wah. All that we need to turn this around. Oh yeah, that's a lot of maggots. That's what I said when I discovered my grandmother's body. I forget it, completely forgotten what I put it. There's the ball, holy crap. That was not number three. Put this out. Breaking ahead slowly. It's very nice. Give that to me. Oh, come on. Two damage, bruh. Woo! My beautiful blood. We're sticking around. We have to. <laughs> it's, a, it's a necessity at this point. Oh, 
Very nice. That's a lot, man. That's so many maggot eggs. That's what I said after I put my grandmother back into the ground. All right, we're good. There's the exit, too. All right, we, we uh, got a little further ahead. Very nice. Get me out of here. Oh, could have been... That was some good money. Give me all... This is actually a safer bet, isn't it? To do these kind of levels instead of the temple. I hate the magus though, because when they jump, it's so obnoxious. I see you. Jump at me! Oh, why will you throw it? It should come back and kill the frog. Never mind. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Now there's a permanently traveling pot. Ah, I should have left that for later. We save bubbles around here. No, there's no eggs in this one. The other one had them all. Just break it. Please, please. It was right here. Where, where was it? Brother, there it is. <laughs> Freaking cosmic ocean, man! The jungle. First jungle level. We do like the boomerango. The boomerang is helpful. We have boots. No climbing gloves, though. Oh, baby. Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah. Very nice. The jungle is very good to get uh, blood pellets. Just way more dangerous than the sunken city. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay. Oh! Oh no 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 no! <laughs> oh baby! <laughs> oh, that could have been a disaster. That's why the jungle is not that great for blood harvest because you get damaged to more than what you get in return. Still gonna do my best though. I need balls. Oh, we are halfway there. Yeah. Very nice. I really should be boomeranging them. That's the first? This is the most gargantuan level ever conceived by the man of Derek Hughes' uh, algorithm. Woo, baby. Alright, as long as I break even. Descend over here, <laughs> make sure that I don't run out of uh, fuel. Give it to me. Ah, this level is a nightmare. Why wouldn't I save that? It's right next to the exit. Foolish. Foolish. Okay. Okay, the exit is actually quite easy to find. We just gotta go to the bottom and then to the middle. And we go in here. Ow! Ow! Mistakes have been made. It's right below me. Let me just put a bomb. <laughs> ah, this jungle level is not great. Get me a double level! <laughs> I need a mummy! Lest I wish to perish. That'd be such a sad way to go, brother. Such a sad, sad way to go. Please don't bring this frog to me. I want nothing to do with it. Seven. Seven health. There are just no larva in this one. There are, they don't exist. Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> oh, it's over. It's Jover. It's not over, but... Very upsetting. Very upsetting. Just taking damage. Just just take all the damage. That sounds that seems reasonable. <laughs> Woo, the arrow trap! Yeah, it's over. You can count on it being over. Three points of health. It's all good. <laughs> Everything's under control. Narrator, it was not under control. It was far beyond my control, what's transpiring here. Once again, I am actually going against all the advice that I gave. It's like, don't panic. Don't try to, don't even try to harvest blood. What you're supposed to do, get to the temple, find a mummy. That's what you need to do. Because the only real option you got. Oh, baby. No, well, there it goes. <laughs> That's awful. Oh, that is so annoying to have died to poison. That was not the the amoeba killing me. That was the poison killing me. What a humiliating defeat. Pretty good run, though. Can't really beat myself up. Look at the score. Look, compare. Compare the depths and the score. Above every one of these full of it's a freaking Yoba. What a piece of scum, but he was much further along than me. He was like, yeah, he was 12 levels ahead of me. So if I keep gathering money, Semong, don't you dare gather money on purpose. This is my quest to beat you. You can't be gathering money like this. We would have totally beaten you if I had gone there, Semong. But you're on notice. 